Catholics pray for the dead for two reasons. First, when a person dies, that person is separated from the body. But Catholics believe the person still exists. During the funeral Mass, we pray this. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. This belief is deeply rooted for Christians in the rising of Jesus from the dead. The suffering and death of Jesus atoned for our sins and enables us to be saved. We know that while all sin is evil, not all sin is equally evil. There are certain actions that are serious and separate us from God's love. We call them mortal or deadly sins. These are the sins Catholics must bring to the sacrament of confession. But there are other sins, while still wrong, that are not as serious. If we die having committed these sins before repenting of them and seeking God's forgiveness, Catholics believe that there will be a period of purification. It is like cleaning your house before guests come to visit. Because of the communion of the saints, we believe that we can assist those in purgatory with our prayers. Just as we can do so for the living, like praying for someone who is sick in the hospital, for example, we can pray for those who have died that they might be in heaven. If you would like to pray for and remember a loved one who has died, Go to the chapel and write their name in the book at the entrance. These names will be remembered in prayer through the month of November.